Hello and welcome. This video is brought to you by the streamingadvisor.com. Tailor your entertainment with streaming. What we're going to look at in this video is a TV app, one of the live TV services out there. It's called Fubo TV. Fubo TV is not quite as well known as some of the others because it just doesn't have that same kind of muscle. And it's not YouTube, Hulu, something like that. But Fubo TV is an app that's available for Fire TV, Roku, Apple TV, Android TV. You can get it on a Samsung and X, the Samsung TVs, like the smart TVs, Xbox, iOS, Android. It also is available on computers via web browsers. But we're going to load it up right here on a Fire TV and just give you a look at what makes this app a little bit different than every other pay TV live streaming app out there? At first glance, you just see rows of things that you know kind of looks like any other service. And you know, there's a reason for that because there's an established formula. But you can start getting a feel for what makes it different as we go through the different sections. And you see the way they lay things out and what they do to make it easier to find things. First off, Bubo is known as a sports-centric service. It started off as a sports service, primarily international sports, things like soccer or, of course, as everybody else calls it, football. But what you have here is a great deal of sports content from probably the widest range of sports content channels available through any given service. Because not only do you get things like ESPN and Fox Sports and things like that in our general U.S. market, you also bring in a lot of other sports channels from overseas, things like BN Sports and things like that. Stuff that's going to have soccer and other international contests outside of the norm. There's even sports movies. Fubo TV offers a lot of channels that carry movies on demand. So just for the heck of it, it went ahead and broke down a sports movie section there so that you could find other things to watch besides live sports. Those are always fun when the when it's out of season. You know, you watch a football movie when it's not football season. There's even a sports talk section. So here's where you're going to find a way to watch your favorite sports talk personalities that have their live versions of their shows. You can watch them and jump in. But not only that, they not only do they have these little rows, you see that they break all the sports programming down into sub, you know, basically subsections. All the way down to other, you see all of those sports they have listed, but there's an other section for just maybe lesser known sports, lesser followed sports. But the thing is, if that's your favorite, if you have, if you know someone who competes, this is a good place to find these sorts of things. Look, it even has high school lacrosse. That's different. But if you know, if you're looking for something like women's field hockey, you can find it. United States and Belgium. It's not on live right now, but obviously you have the option to record it. And you'll find that a lot in Fubo. A lot of times it'll have a channel and it'll have something listed. And if it isn't on at the moment, it'll show you that you can set it up to record. As you see, though, overall, it has a. it's almost like a sports app built in to a TV app. Most TV apps, you know, they have sports, of course. You know, who doesn't offer ESPN, right? But what they're able to do with this is give it a real sports feel. And we'll even be working in sports betting later on this year. Something else I think is really cool is when you jump into something like basketball. You see, you've got a listing of all leagues and then a listing of different basketball leagues. To those of you who thought that the whole basketball world was pretty much college basketball and the NBA, 
Bubo TV is there to say, not so fast, my friend, as old Lee Corso would say. But if you look here, you can check out games from all over. The Bundesliga is a, actually a pretty intense international league. There's even an African basketball league. So, this is really actually a cool way to get a look at those prospects that you hear about. Someone like Fran Fischella will come on ESPN as the international scout. But if you use something like Fubo TV and check out leagues from all over the world, you'll be like, oh, I know about Juris Flynn Sliverblangen. <laughs> I just made that name up. But here you can look at the different baseball things. That, that, that's not as quite as large a grouping as you see with basketball. But all of the sports are that way. If there's not a whole lot of international options, there's just not a whole lot of international options. But you know, jumping into football, you see college football. This is the Spring Football League. A lot of people haven't heard of this, but it's something that they started this year. We'll see if it makes it through the whole season. It would be <laughs> might be a first to see something go all the way through the season and come back the next year. AFL is not the Arena Football League. This is the Australian Rules Football. That's the one that kind of looks like rugby. They have the referees that wear all white. IFL, though, is an internet, is a, uh, you see, indoor football action. So, IFL is indoor football. AFL is Australian football. And they call it football. It would be kind of funny to see an international country call football something completely different since we call it soccer football and just be like, ha, you know, we're going to call it something else. But that's the sports section. And when you go into shows, what you have is a more traditional feel to start with. It'll break everything down. It'll recommend shows based on what you're watching. You'll see in my case, there's a lot of history and home and cooking shows. That is totally my family. Under this section, you can find shows from various seasons of South Park. Of course, it's the South Park section, so what else would you expect to find? And this will show you whether things are actually available to watch or something that's going to be coming on later. It's more like a Comedy Central listing than it is a South Park listing. But as you go through these shows, you can click on them for more information, see what's coming on, and start building up your DVR library. DVR is available for Fubo TV. We'll show you a little of that later, but it has a, either a 250 hours of DVR or a thousand hours, depending on whether you go with like their intro package or their elite package. Look at that. You can start watching Keeping Up with the Kardashians. I don't judge. Going through, you see that there's just a wide range of shows, and like others, for instance, the sports, it's going to break everything down for you. So you've got the different genres. So if you decide you're much more in the mood to either watch or be prepared to watch sci-fi, all you got to do is click on the sci-fi, see a show you like. You can see whether it's available to watch or whether it's something coming on that you're going to record. This should be a pretty familiar sort of feel as far as TV services go. I'm what they might call a Whovian, so I had to click on Doctor Who. But as you go through, you'll see that there are tons and tons of things available. It's just not everything is necessarily going to be available to watch like something like Netflix. Its movie section is considerably more like that, which we'll show in a moment. But overall, being able to look for shows in this way is helpful. It gives you a feel for the range of channels. 
their premium shows are pretty much going to be locked down with Showtime and Stars. Those are both premium channels you can pay for through Fubo TV. Your home cooking channels is going to be all of those things like Discovery Network. All the pizza. I'm going to tell you something. If you don't want to watch stuff about pizza, if you don't like pizza, I don't know. I just don't know if we can be friends. I'm just saying. So we're going to go through and let's see what else there is to find. Take a look at comedy. Obviously you've got things from Comedy Central, but there's other things that are considered comedy that are just dropped into place. It's movie section. This one's a little bit more like an actual movie service. It feels more like you know, going through Crackle or Netflix or anything else. There are tons and tons of movies available. Some of them have commercials. Some of them don't. But you see that they break things down again by genre, just like the TV show section. And, I mean, this is just a great afternoon killer. Now and then my wife would just be like, let's just watch something fun. So we jump into action, and away we go. Not sure if I consider 1917 action. It's kind of a historical drama. It's a decent one, but, you know, it's not exactly the Fast and the Furious, I'm just saying. But, in general, this is a really cool section, because you can go in, you can find your action adventure, you can find your sci-fi, you can find your dramas. And just jump right in, watch something you want to see, and enjoy yourself. Most of the movie section is sort of set up so that it's more like all on demand versus the set up to record sort of situation you have with the TV section. Now, besides all of this on demand stuff, which you know, it feels like a different kind of app, there's also a full on TV section. And so you see, there is a TV section with a live guide. And it also allows you to look forward to say, you know, what's coming on Friday, what's coming on Saturday. I think that's really cool when it's something like, you know, college football season. And you just want to see, you know, what are all the games coming up. Something very really important to point out is that we do have access here to local channels. You're going to see Fox 50, ABC 11, Channel 17 is my CBS, and you see that WREL down there is my NBC affiliate. That's really helpful. You also might notice that we've gone you know, up and down around. You, you might find that Fubo TV offers the CBS Sports Network. CBS Sports is not as common a sports network as others. But because Fubo TV, like I said, pushes sports so much, they carry a great number of sports channels that you just wouldn't find necessarily anywhere else. For those of you who live in places that have major regional networks, you'll even find that they cover things like the Madison Square Garden Network, or you know the what they call RSNs, regional sports networks. So that's something to pay attention to. It also includes internet-based things like CBSN and NBC News Now. Those aren't traditional TV stations. Those are actually apps. You can get them without this, but they throw that in there just so that you have it available and you can jump on in. Yeah, look at all those showtimes. Remember I said you, you get showtime, but it's not just getting showtime. It's every showtime channel they have. So that's its basic TV guide. And you can also look through Fubo using the Networks view. And with the Networks view, it's great because not only can you get a feel for exactly what's there, they put things in alphabetical order, you can bounce straight into a specific channel. And let's say you want to make sure you record something from that channel or a channel has something that's available for you know watching it right on, you can do so. So... Here with the Fubo Movie Network, you can scroll through and see what they've got to see. On the other hand, you can jump into something else, 
like Comet, and unfortunately, only set up to record. Just like the other views we were looking at, most of the TV channels are kind of like that. They don't have as much content available just to watch. And yeah, that's sort of their own thing. It's all in what they want to make available. I'm just looking through some Lifetime stuff. Now something that does have everything just available just the way you would expect is... Showtime. We'll show you Showtime in a moment. But as it is, this is your chance to build up your maybe even 1,000 hour library. Something I'm not crazy about is as you bounce in and out of various network apps, you'll notice that it kind of resets you back to the top of the screen. I'm not real happy with that because I think it makes it just a little more awkward when you're searching for content. Wouldn't hate it if they changed that up a little bit. See what? See, we're back to A and D. So it's not like that. There's like a million channels here that we have to scroll through. It's just that the hundred or so keep on going straight back to A. But in general. There really is a lot there to see, and you can't complain about that. As I was saying, the Showtime section looks almost like the like the Showtime app, the standalone Showtime app, or even Showtime Anytime, things like that. From there, you can get to just about every single thing available on Showtime through every aspect of the service. So that's interesting. That's really actually very cool. You can see whichever, whatever movies are playing. You can go to the Showtime original series and launch right in, watch it commercial free, fast forward, rewind. Fubo, of course, does support closed captioning. There's a whole lot out there. And that's pretty much the story of Fubo as of right now. This is a service that has been continually evolving. I've been following it for years now, and at this point, it's a very complete service, and it has been growing very quickly as far as national numbers, ratings, subscribers. So I don't think it's going anywhere for a while. Looks like it's got some staying power. The good news is, regardless, you can subscribe month to month. They do have some... Other offerings coming along, things like quarterly or half the year if you want to pay, maybe get a little bit of a discount. But just like every other service at the moment, you can sign up today, keep it for a month or two, and then say, well, you know, maybe I'll bring it back for this or that. Or you might say, wow, there's just so much there. It's so convenient. I'm going to keep it all the way through. The prices aren't, you know, cheap exactly. They're about $75, $85, depending on what you get. But in a world where there's $250 cable bills, it's not, you know, such a hit to the pocket as some other options. So that's Fubo TV. I hope you found that helpful. If you did, please subscribe to our channel. Share this video with your friends. Like the video. You know, give back a little. We gave out to you. As always, I'm Ryan Downey, the Streaming Advisor. As always, stream on, my friends.